how to sell digital art prints on etsy hey guys welcome in this video i'm gonna give you a tutorial on how to sell digital art prints on etsy so let's get into it first of all you're gonna go to etsy.com and you will land on this platform right here uh, we know that etsy is a very good marketplace where you can sell any kind of product we can sell our jewelry and accessories clothing and shoes we have home and living we have wedding and party toys and entertainment art and collectibles and more so on etsy see we also have digital prints that we can sell we can sell wall art we can sell these digital printables that can be downloaded so this is actually a digital product that we can list on etsy in its very famous niche here especially on etsy platform rather than others so you can see we have different art uh you know forms we have different printables that we can sell so let me show you how we can create a digital product or sell a uh, printable that you created on etsy for that you will require an account uh, you can actually go to etsy.com and then you're gonna scroll down and you will be able to find the option of sell uh, so what you need to do is you will log into etsy with your google account and you will get your account like this in your account, you can also create your own store on Etsy to sell. Setting up a store is really easy on Etsy. All you need to do is you're going to actually create your shop name. You will be able to then name your shop and then create a new listing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on create new listing and get right here. So this is where we create new listing for a product on Etsy. So let's actually get into the process. First of all, we have a photo. Add as many as you can for the buyers to see. Now here we can add up to 10 photos of our product. When it comes to a digital product, we will not be uploading the product right here. Keep this in mind because if you will upload your picture that you created, then people will just, you know, take the picture and not buy your product. So the product is going to be in a PDF form because it's a digital product. And then here we will add some of the mock-up images. So I'm going to select this one right here and select the files from my computer. So here I have added two mock-up images. You'll be able to see here. This is my first image and this is the second. These are the mock-up images that I created with Canva. There is already a video on the channel if you want to learn how to create mock-up images like this. So I have two images for my digital art, which is this one right here. And I have added the photos. Moving on, we can add a thumbnail too. So I'm going to go with this thumbnail here. Then we have a video. So we can actually upload up to 5 to 15 seconds of video. If you want to add a video, you can actually upload here. Moving on, we have the listing detail. So here we will enter the title. I'm going to go with a simple title like this. And then we have about this listing. Who made it? We have to actually add all of this detail on Etsy. Who made it? I did. And then we have to add what is it? A finished product or a supply tool. So it's a finished product. When did you make it? I actually made it for an order. Then we have a category. So in category, you're going to select digital prints. In digital prints, we have a lot of different types of digital prints. So I'm going to go with a digital, uh, you know, wall decor because that's what uh, we have with this one. Then we have a craft. If it's a 3D printing, if it's a calligraphy, if it's coloring, embroidery, then we have other options as well. So you can select these type of, uh, you know, material that you use. Then we have a primary color, which is optional. Then we have secondary color, width, height, and depth. So width, height, you should choose because it's a wall art. So you can select in meters or inches and you can add the width and height here moving on we have sustainability it's optional then we have style uh, celebration room all of these optional um you know different uh, categories that we can select here moving on we have some of the important and compulsory options we have renewable automatic or manual so i'm gonna go with manual but we can also go with automatic the listing will be renewed as it expires for usd 0.20 so if you want to save time then you can go with automatic or you can go with manual then we have type now this is the most important option when it comes to setting a digital print on etsy we have a physical product and then we have a digital a digital file that buyers will download so you have to select this option in order to list a digital product on etsy so once it's added here we will add a description of the product so you will of course write all the description right here and moving on we have a production partner so if you have any pattern you will just um, enter the production partner here i do not have any I'm, i just create products myself so i'm going to leave this option 
moving on we have sections optional tags optional and material as well in tags we can add up to 13 tags here and 13 materials too this is for the buyers to see and uh, you know know about the product moving on we have inventory and pricing some of the important options again pricing so this is where you will enter the price this is a uh, digital art that i actually created for free uh, on canva and i am going to be selling this one for twelve dollars one printable is for twelve dollars the quantity is one sku if you want to add it you can add it here and then we have personalization if you give the personalization options on your website for instance different instructions from buyers if you do that then you will select this option if you don't do it then you can just turn this off moving on we have digital file so you selected made to order above you'll create this file after the purchase so you can see it depends on you here we had the option of made to order so here i'm gonna actually change it to recently because i'm not creating this product after the order but i have already created so i'm going to go with this one so here we have buyers can download these files as soon as they complete their purchase so once they pay me 12 dollars, they will download the product with digital product the good thing is there is no shipping involved there is no such fee all you have to do is just upload the file here and people will download it so i'm going to click on upload file and it's going to be a pdf file that i have so this is the same file that we have you can see in the mockups this is the art that i have created that you see this is a wall art and it's a pdf file here for people to download and even print if they want to if you have more than one files you can upload here we can add up to five files right here so you can see one i added and i can add up to four more moving on we have some of the return and exchange policy if you have any policies right here you will of course enter your details so once your all of these options are added on etsy then you will just click on save and continue or you can preview the product as well so let's click on preview and check out how our product is looking like so this is the mockup image right here this is the art that i created a click on save and continue your new listing will be created on etsy and people will be able to buy your digital print this is how we add a digital print on etsy the only difference is the pictures right here are going to be the mockups and at the bottom here you will select a digital product and then upload your file so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know everything that you wanted to know and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if this tutorial was a big help to you so yeah also leave a comment down below what was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question 